Hi there, Lisa Rana here from Dollhouse Designs. For today's video, I'm sharing how I watercolored this big, beautiful floral stamp with Distress Inks from the There Is No Reason stamp set by Unity Stamp Company. I just love that big mum bundle image and all the great sentiments in this kit that's perfect for sympathy or any occasion. I'm starting out with gathering a few of my favorite Distress Ink colors and then placing those on an acrylic block for my palette. I sprayed it with a little bit of water to help activate those colors since I'm using a water brush instead of a real paintbrush. Unfortunately this turned out to be a bad idea as you will see as we go along but I have a solution for for that problem. So I'm starting out with just the lightest color here. Uh, it's a bit of an orange and I'm going at the center of the bloom and just kind of going haphazardly, nothing real complicated, just laying down a bunch of color. Kind of ran out of a bit of that orange, so I'm going to pick it up and add a little bit more to the center of the blooms here, and then just blending it in over the pink in the background. I want these to be kind of a peachy, corally, pinky, set of mums. Kind of fall colors, but still being bright and beautiful. So I'm just going back and forth between the orange and the pinks. I'm saving the darkest red for the end. And as you can see, this is where my problem started with my palette. I should have only stuck with my three colors that I'm working with, um, just because they started to run and bleed with that water that I added. But I'm, I'm able to work around it and only pick up the colors that I need. So now that I've laid down my orange and my coral color, I'm going to go in with this deep red just to add a bit of depth to the, the petals and just to add, again, some more contrast and interest to each of the flowers. Kind of stick in to the more of the center and the bottom of the blooms, just kind of adding a bit of of shading just where I think it looks good. What I love about this mum is that it's so layered and um, just so many options that you don't really have to think too hard about where you're placing all that shading. So here I cleaned off my palette and I'm just working with the two colors which I should have done in the first place. Laying down the light lightest green and doing all my foliage at first and then once I get that laid down I'm going to move on to that darker green and I needed a little bit more water there so I added that and then just picked up a bit of that green and I'm going to do the darkest part of the leaf at the base where it's the most shadow where it's Probably where it's laying underneath something and then also the veins of the leaf and now that the image is all colored I've die cut it out and we're going to pop that up just on a basic black background on my card base here I just like how the colors pop against a black card base and to finish the card off we're going to use a bit of Winca Stella for some shine just gonna rub that all over the the floral image. Again, no real technique here. I'm just paint brushing that on. And then I'm going to use some Nuvo Drops. This is the Morning Dew in Clear. And with Nuvo Drops, I always like to practice first. I hold the bottle straight up and down and then squeeze slowly so I get a nice round drop and then lift my bottle up straight up. And that tends to do a great job with creating a round drop. It is a bit cooler right now, so I find that they don't flow as well, so I just tap the back of the card to kind of smooth out the top of that dot. So here is the finished card with that big, beautiful floral image, watercolored with distress inks and matted on a black card base. Added a bit of shine with that wink of Stella glitter pen and some texture and interest with those Nouveau drops. Just makes you think of some water droplets around those beautiful flowers. 
Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you liked it, plus if you have any questions or a sweet comment post below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye.